Hello, and welcome back to the Octus Support Playlist. Today, we will be demonstrating how to test Octus Radius authentication using a free tool called NT Radping. If you're attempting to stand up a proof of concept for Octus Radius integration, or you're trying to troubleshoot an integration, you've come to the right place. Octa offers seamless integration with Radius authentication by providing a Radius Relay Agent. This agent resides inside of your network, listening on configurable network ports. This agent provides secure authentication back to your Okta tenant over modern HTTPS encrypted communication. This way, your radius traffic stays inside of your network and sensitive login details leaving your network are encrypted using strong TLS v1.2 encryption. In a production environment, a client would connect to a gateway, like a VPN, and the gateway would be configured to connect to the radius server for authentication. NT Radping is a handy tool that helps admins craft specific radius authentication requests and receive responses. With this tool, we can provide a proof of concept that the Okta Radius agent is able to receive radius packets and forward them back out to the Okta tenant for authentication and then receive an authentication status back without the need to move any production traffic for testing. To get started, here's a look at the configuration we are using in this demonstration. We are using the standard Radius port 1812 and configured our secret key. Note the options enabled. For more details on these options, see the manual chapter linked in the description below. We are also simply using the default sign-on rule, which will be requiring MFA for all logins. Let's launch NT Radping and run a test. We will need to populate NT Radping with the appropriate parameters such as the Radius server IP address, port, secret key, and of course the username and password. As I am running NT Radping on the same server I am testing the Radius agent on, I will simply enter the loopback address for the server. The port in the secret key is the same info from the Radius app we just reviewed. After configuring NT Radping, you'll initiate a test by clicking on the Send button, which will send a Radius Access Request message to the Okta's Radius agent. The agent will then initiate the authentication back to your Okta tenant, where it will find our sign on policy, which requires MFA. As my testing user is set up with Okta Verify, and we have both the options configured in the Radius app to accept a password and security token in the same login and permit automatic push notifications, my Octolab test user is now getting a push notification, which I will accept. The retry seen during this test is expected and is a part of the way that the NT Radping tool itself is configured. If the test is successful like ours, you'll see this access accept message, indicating that the authentication was successful. On the other hand, if the test fails, you'll receive an access reject message, signaling that the authentication failed or that MFA was required to complete the login successfully. As noted in this support video's accompanying documentation, you may also test various forms of MFA by toggling the appropriate options for the application and appending a comma and the desired factor to the end of your password. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And for more Octa support videos, check out the Octa support playlist right here on our YouTube channel.